Hi guys! Today I'm going to do a review of the Huawei Mate 10. Now this is quite an old phone. I have this phone for th about two and a half years, nearly three years now. And the reason why I'm doing a review now is because I forgot to do a review before. And I think it's so important that uh, uh, to know how a phone actually uh, ages throughout the, my experience with it, right? So it's been three years, so I can give you a good overview of this phone. So I'm just going to quickly tell you that this phone is probably one of the best phones you will have if you like um, the iPhone, right? It, look at the build quality, it's really good. Yeah, just ignore the back cover because uh, it's been cracked. I hit it on the table while I was trying to replace the USB port. You can see some of my previous videos on how I replaced the USB port and opened the back cover of this phone. So it's a glass back cover just like the iPhone and you just have to heat it up. And when you remove it, it has very nice uh, internal. So that's one thing going for Huawei. It's one of the phones with very nice internals and for a person like me who likes to repair my own phones, that's really important because you can repair it easily. So um, with that said, I'm going to bring up some negative aspects of this phone because you know I have to say the bad things first before getting the good points. So um, first of all, it's the build quality. I just said it's good, but uh, you know I just hit the back and hit crack. I didn't even hit it hard because I was trying to get uh, the back cover out like um, I'm sorry I was trying to get the USB to plug properly and then I just hit the table with it and then it cracked obviously it wasn't as bad as this when it started cracking it was just a small crack here and then um, when I tried to open the back cover the crack just started to spread but the good news is you can always get um, a replacement back cover so that's not an issue one of the issues is that it's a fingerprint magnet so uh, if you don't like that that's gonna be an issue but overall the quality is really good uh, there's really good balance to the weight it's even if it's even even when it's crack you can hold it pretty well that's a good balance here and that's really important you don't want it to drop off right so it's a bit heavy so that might be a downside to it but the quality overall, you know, it has this very uh, luxurious feel to it, right? It's like gold color. They call it mocha brown, but it's actually gold color. So it, this is the um, phone starting up. I'm going to tell you guys that even now in 2020, this phone is still worth it. It's going for quite cheap now. It's about, uh, I would say about maybe about 100 US dollars you can get this phone for second hand price if you look around so is it good is it fast look at this it's really fast right oh what am I getting at I was supposed to be telling you about the bad points first right so the great thing is that this phone doesn't have that many bad points one of the bad points is that uh, for a Huawei phone it keeps updating itself when I tell it not to update itself somehow it still insists on updating itself so when I put cancel on the updates it will cancel but um, suddenly I feel that I mean not that I felt that it, it's just that it updated itself while I was uh, even though I kept selecting no I don't want it to update but it still updated itself so as you know there's a lot of issues with Huawei and privacy and security now, I'm gonna tell you this I'm not trying to take sides but in China you know the government comes first right so unlike Apple where privacy of individual is more important in China government comes first so think about that you're not going to completely trust this phone because if the government of China approaches Huawei for your information well they're gonna provide it they're not going to uh, hide that info from the government because the government comes first, the country comes first, China comes first and that's not necessarily a bad thing for China because you have a white population there so I'm not going to get into politics but what I'm trying to say here is that if you value your privacy and um, your security 
you might not want this phone or you might just use this phone for its amazing camera you know it's fast speed uh, you can use it for camera speed playing games for that matter i just love the uh, you know this ratio of it it's really good for playing games because you get your fingers there really easily to the middle of the screen you know unlike the new like samsung phones it's really hard to get your thumbs into the middle of the screen so it's hard to play a game i can actually show you like one of the games that i play is mobile legends right and in mobile legends you when you want to control the character on the uh, screen sometimes it's nice to have your thumb be able to reach all the way to the middle right so uh yeah so that's one of the things that well it's not loading here for some reason but i'm going to show you guys another game right and one other thing that i like is that it has this middle button which is just like the iphone so when you press one time it goes back you can set it by the way uh you can set it to the normal like on screen android buttons but i find the middle button just like the iphone so you just press it to go back long press it to go to the home screen there let me just show you so like on ebay now okay now you you can uh let's say you go to a website okay just my website which is shermanchin.com right uh yeah you can see how fast it loads as well so here you just press the back button it goes back to the, like the page before it so as you can see i just tap the middle button it comes the back button so if i tap it longer it goes to the home screen right so it's really really impressive i mean at first maybe you might want to get used to it it's not that easy to get used to and you might uh, because you are familiar with the the uh, back button on the android phone being to the right side and then the left side would be the the um, recent buttons like recent apps but to get the recent apps in this phone you just swipe swipe that middle button and then you get uh, the recent apps as you can see here which is a really really cool ui feature that huawei has right not many phones has this and i find that really amazing like this is invaluable to me and you'll notice that the recent huawei phones don't have this so the Huawei Mate 10 has this uh, middle, uh, it's actually working as a fingerprint scanner as well. So say I lock the phone, right? And I just put my finger there. It comes on immediately. That's just amazing. That's how fast it is. And this is 2020. In three years time, I've been playing games on this. I've been installing stuff and it works just like new. So that's really amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I just can't say how amazing it is and uh, I feel that this phone has just everything that I need it has the uh, earphone jack right uh, it has USB-C unfortunately it doesn't have wireless charging so as, you can, as I told you before I dropped I mean I hit the phone so uh, and the USB port went inside by the way so that's a quality control problem that Huawei has so make sure you get one of those magnetic uh, USB port chargers where you can put a magnetic um, what do you call that? that that plug here so it's going to not move that circuit board where the USB port is further inside and cause a problem with your phone but other than that this phone is really amazing the photo quality for the back camera it's amazing right you can have a look here it takes photo really fast and it has like uh, ai so it can detect what is like in the scene so let's say i have my face here probably can detect my face really soon well i can't really show you unless i move it around but what i can tell you guys is that it's pretty amazing it has ai uh, it takes photos really fast and the front facing camera is the one that I like to use because you know when you are making videos I always make vlogs like this I'm also using a front camera on my other phone right uh, it's actually the Note 9 so for this phone 
it works really well. Obviously, it cannot compare to the Note 9 front-facing camera. Note 9's front-facing camera video is one of the best. But still, if you look at my videos, you can just uh, look below. Just click on my name, uh, Sherman Chen, and you will see all my videos. Most of the videos are created with this phone's front-facing camera, right? I'm sure some of the, the videos are not that clear. Yes, that's the problem with this phone. The uh, Note 9 doesn't have that problem. I have no idea why this phone gets a bit blurry using the front-facing camera when there are too, too many lights. I realize that. The back camera is really good. I can't really know. I, I mean, if you want to know the details of uh, the megapixels and stuff, just look at other reviews. I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to tell you guys what I think of this phone in 2020. Is it worth it? Obviously, it's worth it now. It's, you can get it secondhand for really cheap. I'm sure you can still get first hand from some shops that still have um, leftover stock. And it's going to be totally worth it because it comes with all the Google apps, you know, the latest, as you know, the latest issue with uh, the Huawei phones, especially the Mate 30, is that they do not come with Google apps anymore because of the, uh, you know, of America imposing the uh, restrictions on them, right? So, uh, what else can I say about this phone? It has a really nice uh, indicator of your, like, when you're charging, when there's a message, indicator appears above, above but one thing i notice is that when you receive calls when you're playing games it interrupts the game which is really annoying for me uh, although there are game tools it doesn't seem to help you can set it but uh, somehow it doesn't really work well when you receive a call or get an sms it will interrupt your game so i'm not sure if that happens with many other phones but for this phone yes it's Really, really annoying so I'm gonna show you guys like how nice it is to have this form factor of uh, you know like like this it's a small form factor that the screen ratio is the best for playing games it's really easy to get your thumb your thumb across the screen so to me that's really important right so you can play with one hand which makes it really convenient, right? And then press the middle button and you straight away get to the home screen. So you don't actually press, it's not really a button, it's a fingerprint reader. So you just have to place your, your thumb there and it just gets to the to the home screen really fast. So there you go, it's still smooth as butter, amazing phone. Uh, what else can I say about it? The sound is good, it's really loud. It's here just now when I was playing the game uh, yeah so would I recommend this phone yes I would give it probably 8 over 10 one of the best Huawei phones you can get right now so I'm saying this as an honest opinion I'm not a big Huawei fan because of the security issues I would not completely trust uh, all my data right my banking data whatever to a Huawei phone simply because like I mentioned before it's uh, not a personal thing but as you know logically speaking because China is always puts the country first so when you buy a Huawei you know that well you're buying it for the quality right it's almost as good as an Apple phone the, the, the speed is there obviously it's not as good because obviously the Apple uh, chip which is the bionic chip it's, a, it's much better than this chip which is created by Huawei I think it's called a Kirin, Kirin chip so the Kirin chip has just like the uh, you know like the other the Snapdragon the chips or they have like integrated uh, what they call that they have the the, uh, the, the processor they have the, the graphic processing unit all on one single chip so uh, a lot of people say that this is probably not as fast, uh, especially graphics wise. And you can see that, um, that's one more thing that I forgot to mention. This is an LCD, IPS LCD display. It's not as vibrant as the AMOLED display, but it's really bright. So 
to me it's fine it works fine for me uh, it gets a very like whitish feel to it I don't know if I can explain that well but when you look at the screen it looks a bit whitewashed because the AMOLED screen turns the each individual led off to get the black the real black colors but this one when it goes even black there's still that white light from behind so you get that if you don't like that that might be a problem but you can set the brightness really low and it still works fine right so uh yeah so basically i think i covered everything about this phone if there's anything else you want to know about it please leave a comment below and i'll get back to you guys but that's my uh, review for the mate 10 huawei mate 10 in 2020 definitely a really good phone to get you can replace a lot of the parts a lot of parts are available online surprisingly and even if you don't get an original one you can replace it for really cheap and it still works i think this I got this part, I'm not sure if it's original, but it seems original, the seller says it's original and um, it's the USB charging port and it seems to work fine now. So I will leave you guys at this. If you like a really convenient phone which you can use as a backup phone. Uh, by the way, the battery life it has a 4000mAh battery so it lasts a really long time. Like if you do not charge this phone and you just leave it with uh, i mean if you don't on, switch on like like you don't turn it on and you just leave your say your secondary sim card or your your the, the card the sim card which you use to make phone calls with in this phone you can probably last you about a week plus so that's quite amazing right if you don't even you don't switch it on much and you don't have a lot of calls you just use this as a backup phone like so when people call you at least you have another phone i think it's totally worth it just to get it for that reason it's really convenient to keep as well it's not that big it's just a bit slightly heavy but um yeah as i said it's a good phone if you have uh, you know someone who's new to android phones like an older parent who's not really good with phones this is also a very good introduction just like the apple iphone it's really easy to use and i will really suggest it so i will see you guys in the next review that i make and if you guys like this please give me a thumbs up and subscribe thank you very much see you guys bye